Hey, it's Matt from Old Yankee, and this is my 1940 Ford Tudor Deluxe, and it's for sale, so let's go over it. Okay, I've had this car just about seven years. I've done a lot to it in that time, including installing a drop axle from Nostalgia Sid. Uh, we did 53 Ford F100 brakes up front for better stopping power. The back are still the stock Lockheed style. It's got a 354 rear end, which basically means you can do 80 to 85 down the highway in this car without any issue at all. The rear is a Posey spring uh, set up for lowering. You might ask why there's not a old Yankee spring in the back of the car. Uh, laziness, that's why, and it works. It lowered the car, did what it's supposed to do. Same with the uh, spring up front in this car. It's also a Posey spring and same thing, it, it works. And uh, I just never got around to putting an old Yankee spring in there. That front Nerf bar is actually off an old hot rod out of Pennsylvania. I'll include some pictures of that as well. Inside the car, we got stock seat covers installed by Custom Mitch. Got a 48 Ford steering wheel that came out of an old hot rod. Got some moon eye gauges below the dash here. Got lots of little chrome accessories, the ashtrays, the gauge bezel, back seat. It's also got the seat cover, nice headliner, no rips, no tears. Rubber floor mat up front, carpet in the rear. The firewall's been uh, sound deadened with fat mat. There's also sound deadener on the floor. When I got the car, I actually wire wheeled the whole floor and undercoated it. There's two patches on the floor. They've been there a long time. They're actually brazed on there well before I ever owned the car. Underneath the hood is got a 48 8BA. 30 over, two Strombergs, brand new, power gen. We'll pop the hood, I'll go over all that stuff. I've gone through everything in this car. The transmission was rebuilt in 2019. All new bearings, all new seals. The only reason why I'm selling is I got my eye on something else. I own a lot of cars and projects and this one is uh, gotta go, so. Let's go over what's underneath the hood. So underneath the hood on this car is a 48 APA rebuilt 30 over. We got two brand new Strombergs from England. All the Stromberg linkages on here. Um, power gen alternator, everything, all the nuts and bolts is all stainless. Um, the heads, which are Offenhauser and the intake, which is a Fenton were tumbled in a tumbler and then clear coated with like a matte finish to kind of keep the age look to them, but also protect them from fuel or coolant or anything else that may get on them. Got a Mallory electronic ignition in the car. Water pumps are new. Basically anything that I could replace and do over on the car has been done. Um, this is a champion aluminum radiator. Big pusher fan on front keeps the car at about 170 no matter what, whether you're sitting in traffic and it's 100 degrees out or even in the middle of winter, the car will stay about 170, 165 all the time. That's a brand new battery underneath there as well. Recently, when I put this motor in the car, I redid the firewall. So the firewall has been all painted, primed, redone. Got our fuel pressure regulator on the firewall there with the gauge. The car does run an electronic fuel pump. It runs beautifully. I'm going to start it up. I'm going to start the car for you. It's literally just like one hit on the button here. Every time. And if you want to walk around the back, we can hear what it sounds like as well. It's got dual exhaust running two glass packs. I'm going to get down by the exhaust here so you can actually hear it a little bit better because it's by my mic but yeah it sounds great it's not overbearing and when you're going down the road and there's a lot of sound deadener in the car too so if you notice the car is got pinstriping on it this was done by one arm bandit he did below the taillights here 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 he did all the louvers on the hood as well as uh the bull nose which will will show you as well that rear bumper is a briz aluminum bumper oldsmobile caps 
on 15s. Those are 820 15s in the rear, 590 15s up front. The tires are new. Yeah, more of Charlie's work up front here. Going over the headlights. Did the bull nose. And then all the louvers here as well. The hood was louvered by Derek Pasco from All Star Hot Rods. He also painted the car. It's Folkstone Gray is the color. This is a well put together car that needs nothing. It's turnkey and ready to go. I'm asking 24.5 or best reasonable offer. Reach out to me with any questions. Thanks.